This is my newly finished Maytag. This is a model LA806. It's from right around 1978, I believe. I did a full mechanical refurb to it. The only thing I have left to do is I want to take this apart, this console area, and clean it up a little bit. This washer is kind of special. It does have a regular and a gentle wash, high speed, low speed spin. It does have a cold wash, warm wash, hot wash. It also has the option for a cold rinse and a warm rinse. And then you have your four uh, load selecting sizes. This washer does only have two cycles. It has the like regular fabrics and it has the permanent press. The permanent press cycle is kind of cool. The wash cycle, it drains, but only drains like half the tub. And then it fills up and rinses again and then drains. It's kind of a nifty little cycle. I, I think it's kind of cool. Mechanically, I rebuilt this machine completely. I rebuilt the transmission. I did a tub seal, bearings, belts, hoses, basically you name it. I replaced everything on this machine. New water pump. I did some painting. I took the whole machine apart piece by piece. The only thing I haven't disassembled yet is just this faceplate area. I just want to take it apart so I could clean it and, you know, kind of clean the glass and put it back together. I also replaced the... Uh, Gosh, what do you call it? The starter piece for the light. I'm going to put a new light in there because this one just doesn't seem quite as bright enough. And once I'm done with that, this machine is going to be, like, perfect. I'm going to publish that video pretty soon as far as, the, like, the restoration goes. But I haven't published a video in a while, so I'll, um, I do need to do my laundry in this machine. I just need to do my laundry, period. So I'm going to do a couple loads with this machine. I've already done like 30 loads in this washer. I've kind of been mechanically finished with it for a few weeks now. Uh, it's been really busy. Like, you know, this is like 2020 coronavirus time. So it's been kind of strange. I've been very short staffed and, you know, just trying to like make the best of the situation. So let me fill this up with some clothes. All I have is four pair of my work pants. This is kind of like a half a laundry day week or whatever. I think I'm going to just mix it up a little bit and do like a smaller load. So I'm going to go to the regular eight minute wash, regular wash, regular spin, warm wash, warm rinse. I'm going to do the large load. I kind of want my pants to swim around a little bit. Let me find some soap. So I am going to use a Tide Pod. All right, well, let's see what happens. I'm sure it's going to be a great success. This washer is pretty darn good. And she's purring like a kitten. So regular fabrics, 8-minute wash, regular wash, regular spin, warm wash, warm rinse, large load. Here we go.
wonderful. I don't even need to tell you that these are very well done. There's like an ever like so slight scent of the tide. Like certainly not offensive. The only thing with the older machines is that they tend not to spin very fast. This one is no exception. So my clothes are, you know, a little bit weightier than they would be on a like more modern machine. But boy are they clean. Gosh, I love this machine. If I had to take home or <laughs> let me rephrase, if my wife let me take home more than one vintage washing machine, I would definitely have one of these older Maytag sets. These are not the largest capacity machines and there's nothing from a performance standpoint like if you know we kind of step back into like 1980s standards this wasn't like the best performing machine this was just like a kind of a run-of-the-mill washer but this washer is so reliable I mean this washer is 40 something years old and Honestly, the only thing truly wrong with this washer when I got it in was that the agitator shaft was uh, seized. And so after I took it apart, I just kind of unstuck it. And I could have put it right back together and this machine would have been working. But, you know, I got a little carried away and I, I, and I rebuilt the transmission and, you know, kind of one thing leads to another and I end up going crazy and I rebuilt this machine like new. For those of you wondering, um, this machine is for sale, but it is spoken for at the moment. So I, I don't have cash in hand yet, uh, only because I haven't quite finished it and it's not like ready for sale. But there is a person uh, that lives locally that wants to buy. I have the set, this uh, washer and dryer set, and so they're interested in buying the entire set. I usually... Uh, give a year warranty for anybody who lives locally. So I guarantee the whole machine for a year, parts and labor. And then I also offer a um, basically my lifetime or their lifetime of uh, free phone service. Like if they have any issues or concerned about the machine, they could call me and I'll, you know, it's basically you get unlimited access to the the tech line for me on this machine so it's you know you kind of become my customer for life that said I do uh, sell these machines for quite the premium you know so just to give you kind of an idea of what I would sell a machine like this for I've already invested I'm probably four hundred dollars in parts into this machine I bought an agitator shaft which was around seventy dollars I bought uh, a new pump, which was $60. I bought a uh, sleeve bearing and tub seal, which was about 100 bucks. Set of belts, tub to pump hose, uh, the lower bearing, and what else was there? There's a few other little doodads. Oh, the actual outer tub gasket, uh, the light and the ballasts. And what else was there? There was something else. I re-greased the snubber pads. I didn't have to replace those. Oh, and then the transmission gasket, transmission oil. And there's a couple of O-rings in the transmission that I had to change. And You know, so this machine is as new as you possibly can get from a mechanical standpoint. This is a completely refurbished machine 100%. There's no old rubber on this washer. And all of the parts were completely taken apart and cleaned piece by piece, including all the transmission gears and everything. And this is assembled. And this is as close to a new 40-something-year-old washer as you're going to get. You know, that said, I spent uh, about two or three days uh, fixing this machine. And, you know, if you figure, you know, maybe my time is worth 20 bucks an hour or, or 30 bucks an hour, depending on, you know, what you think of my work... It's easy to think or it's easy to understand why a machine like this would sell out of my shop for $1,500. If you really kind of think about it, this machine 
1978 probably cost the equivalent of $2,000 in 1978 money if you kind of do the, um, if you adjust for inflation. So I might still be selling them a little bit too cheap. I don't know. But I haven't really come up with a price on this machine because I'm still not 100% done with it. But it is going to be a four-figure washer and the dryer will probably be somewhere in that neighborhood too. It's just, uh, it's not for everybody. And if you're looking for a deal on a washer, this is definitely not the one for you. Uh, it's a good value if you're, if you're thinking long term. You know, this is a machine that you can keep for another 30 or so years. Uh, and if you divide the cost of ownership over 30 years or so with minimal maintenance, this washer becomes a downright bargain. But, you know, again, it's not for everybody. And, and a lot of people buy these machines just the same reason you would buy a restored classic car. It's not because the classic car is superior in any way. It's just because you like it. And if you like this 67 Mustang and, you know, you're going to pay a hundred something thousand dollars for a 50 year old car that is going to need constant maintenance and spark plugs and, and oil changes constantly. And it's going to need regular, it's not going to be as reliable as a new car, but you still buy it anyways, because that's what you like. And, and, you know, if you use this washing machine and it brings you joy, how can you even put a price on that? So anyways, thanks for watching.